Referee for this event will be Chris Aboy. Chris starts the fight, and here we go, round number one. So now we're talking in the blue corner, Brian Hamill in the blue gloves and Malcolm Travis in the red gloves. Good rights. Comes out, got to keep his eyes straight. Both a couple of big boys here. See a lot of strength being used. Right off the bat, these guys are going to get tired. And we're talking about 205 pounds. And that's a lot of muscle to try and maintain uh, cardio. That was a nice hit, though. And he mounted. That's a lot of power coming down. Yeah. This, I mean, I, I, I remember Brian's first fight, so definitely, you know, one of those things. And now, uh, and let me help you. With, uh, are, are, are you talking about the guy, the, uh, Brian, on top Brian in the blue on corner? Top. Yeah, but when you get to the point now where Brian's at, do you right. want to get out ahead of that guy's head like that, or would you rather have your, your chin buried in the other guy's chest? If I'm on bottom or top? On top. If you're I'm Brian. On, if I'm Brian, I I, I just want to put a lot of pressure on him in the mouth. Okay. He's going to get tired of it. And he's going to do something to let go, right. and then I bring down front. But now, again, I'm a BJJ guy, so pressure is my thing. Okay. A lot of other guys just want to rain down punches early. Now Malcolm definitely looks strong enough that he's trying to flip he's this around. around. That's, he actually he's a very good technique. Malcolm in the red gloves, Brian in the blue gloves, Travis out of the Beta Academy, Hamill up fighting from Fairfax Fitness out of the blue corner. Hamill blue, Travis red. Travis got him Travis. pinned against the cage. If Travis can drag that knee out, we might get a takedown. Man. He looked like he's a pretty good uh, ground guy. But you talk about this record of 0-1. You never want to fight that 0-1 guy. No, you never want to fight that 0-1 guy. He's hungry, and he's got his family here. He wants to prove to everyone he's actually a fighter. And that's yeah. Yeah. He came out and just got whipped the first time, and yeah. I'm not a quitter kind yeah, of thing. Definitely. So, Malcolm going for a takedown again. Just every time I, he goes in for I'm a telling you, Brian's just a strong guy. Yeah, definitely. Malcolm cannot leverage his way around to get that takedown because Brian is just strong. Malcolm's not doing anything wrong. Malcolm is just excessively strong. Look at this last right now. They're going through the cage. So Brian with his back to the cage. Malcolm trying to get this leverage. Nope, spun around. Hamill in the blue gloves. Travis in the red gloves. Travis now against the cage with a little reversal from Brian Hamill. Brian Hamill with a good right hand. Breathing hard. Malcolm was trying to go for the guillotine. Yeah, it's he needs not. to get the underhook and just turn him. That was, it was a good setup. Uh, Malcolm looks exhausted. Yeah, and I thought if, if, yeah. if Hamill wanted to throw some punches there, he would have landed him. That. It was wide open. Yep, there's the horn. End of round number one, Malcolm Travis, Brian Hamill. I would just have to give Hamill the, the, the round just for being aggressive. Somebody got scratched. I don't know who's got scratched, but I see a little blood maybe coming off of Brian. And I don't know if that's his or not. Good Great left. Job, Good Brian. left. And he I mean, pick his hand up. Yeah. I don't know what he's thinking. And Malcolm does not look happy after no. that. That's two left kicks. A run right front kick. Just more technically I don't know sound. If Malcolm wants to be against that cage. Brian is so much stronger than him. And, and so far, Brian has been the more technical fighter. He has been. Caught him left, caught him left, then right. kicks to the ribs, then another front a kick good, to the chest. A good jab. Great jab. He caught him with a couple kicks. I think that jab woke uh, Malcolm Travis up. Yeah, he, he got Brian against the cage. He's using good leverage. But like you said, I, you know what? It, it, and if I hadn't to talked to you, and I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen that, but uh, without using the cage and raking those guys' yeah, hands, definitely. You could, you could change. Yeah. They, he'll let go. Definitely. He'll, he'll let, let go. go. He'll give you space for you to work. Now they're just trading knees to the body. And I, and I want to say somebody is bleeding. I just I can't tell. Definitely is bleeding. I see a little blood on Brian's cheek, but it could come from Malcolm's face. Yeah, that Malcolm's left. Face is, I think yeah, that left jab caught Malcolm. Hands going inside that cage. The is going to the cage. Now the, yeah. it's, it's definitely yeah. under Malcolm's oh, left oh, eye. Yeah. It's he opened up. up. He tries to jab. Good jab, and you saw when he came out. I mean, it, when you tell and somebody's head turns 90 degrees, definitely. You know you can. You, you've right. caught him. You've caught yeah, him good. You, you did that punching thing. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's landing a couple of knees to the body. Is it, are they getting there? Yeah, they're getting there. You can see uh, a little bruising on uh, Brian's left side. 
inside. That was a little low. That's inside. Maybe a little low. Now Chris is going to break this up just a little low here. Push him back. Going to talk to him. Hey, low knees, low knees. Yeah, yeah. He can tell him to pick his knees up all he wants, but he's just so tired. Reaching yes. Yeah. Just trying to, you're going to have to keep these hands up. There's another good jab, another right. Malcolm does not like it when he gets punched in the face. And he just bum rushes him and just finishes this thing up now. But I don't know if he's winning fights like this. He might take this round. I don't but know. If, if Ryan would just take a step to the left or right, he's going to demonstrate towards him. Yeah, and deflect that yeah. out of there. And that blood looks like, a, is yeah. it coming from it's Brian's coming nose? From Brian's nose now. A couple of lefts, a couple of rights from Brian to Malcolm. They're exchanging blows to the face. If Malcolm would step on somebody's foot here, he might wake him up. You both guys get so exhausted and forget about other parts of the body. And the takedown. Yeah. I don't, I don't know who I would give this one. This is a tough one. That's the end of round number two. We got some blood coming. Uh, coming out in his jean jacket. Okay. Both guys squaring up here. Malcolm is definitely not coming at it. Good inside kick. Great inside kick by Brian. Malcolm just rushes him again. Needed to step, just like you said, right or left. And I don't know if I can take three more minutes of this. No, I, I, I don't know. Sometimes uh, fighters got to talk to their corners. The whole point of a fighter is to go out here and fight and for a corner to be able to let me know what's going on, that what I'm missing. And clearly, Bryce Horn is going to let me know what he's missing. Just getting bum rushed and knees to the stomach and just exchanging knees and rights and lefts. We'll see if Chris Avoid stops this thing. It's, it's not stop, not stops it, but he yeah, stops this. Stop, just, yeah, yeah here we go. Off. And that's what he's yeah. doing right now. He's going to get him off the ring. Or, or uh, get him off the he cage. He might lose a point. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, low, low knees. Low knees. Uh, low that, knees. That changes the fight. Look at, look at Malcolm. He's just so tired. He can care less. Yeah. That might change the fight. Because you might give Ryan the first round, Malcolm the second round. And now that Brian's down a point, I mean, now that Malcolm's down a point. Oh, good rights by oh, Brian. Good. Yeah, two Malcolm good rights. Up. Now he's got him. Yeah. Is he? But he just keeps letting him. He needs to stay on the outside of Malcolm. Yeah. And, 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 and once again, Malcolm's in a situation where he's so tired, he can't pick his knees up right. to get him. And all he's going to do is end up losing another point here. Good reversal by Brian Hamlin. Puts him around. Oh, Malcolm in the red gloves. Puts him back around. Malcolm has good ability to keep his back off the mat, I mean off the cage. And that was another low one by Malcolm. I'm telling you, these are going to be low every time. If Chris could get in there and take uh, a look. Maybe Malcolm should stop throwing these. That's what I was going to say. He's got to do something and come up with something different to win this fight. He wants to win this fight. He needs to let go, back up, and start trying to do something different. Worst come. case scenario for both fighters, or best case right now, if uh, Malcolm takes this round, you gotta give Ryan the first round. Malcolm takes the second round. And I have to give right now, if you're asking me, I'm yeah. telling you Brian Hamlin wins this round. You give Ryan this round? Right now. He's caught him with a couple of upper cuts and he caught him and he had his head. And all I've seen is is low knees and 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 tiredness coming out of Malcolm. And here comes Brian with a second win. Brian's a stronger fighter. He's definitely more physically strong. Right. Malcolm is a little bit more technical with where he puts his body. But let me show you how much I know. I picked Alvin Mercer to win the, the, the last fight against Vineyard, so. so I, you weren't the only person. I'll sit over not here. Not this crowd. I'll sit over here and chit chat and not know how this scoring works. That was a tight enough fight that even the judges disagreed, so yeah. that doesn't matter. Here comes the end of round number three. Both these fighters exhausted. And we'll see if they can even stand up after this is over. This fight was exciting enough that we started talking about a fight that happened. Three yeah, three fights. exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have scored this fight a draw. Between Malcolm Travis and Brian Hamill. Somebody trying.